everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to learn how to pass a very basic parameter and teach it a task, simply a task which is running on ESP32. So, in the coming up videos, we are going to pass uh, some complex data structures like uh, character array or uh, integer array, etc. But for starting from the very beginning, very basic, we are first going to learn how to pass a simple integer to a task. So, here we have almost the same uh, code. Uh, talking about the includes and the main function. In the main function, we have created just one task, and uh, the task is the same that is the hello world. It's, we have given it just a name hello. We increase the stack size so that it doesn't show you or stack overflow error, right? In some cases, it may show that. So I increase it to 2024 to me, write some figure near to this. I would be fine because we are just handling with the uh, one task right now. Uh, these two things are changed, and this is exactly the same. Right, this is uh, the handler pointer. Currently, we are not using handler, so I'm giving it null. Talking about this, this is the priority. I just randomly changed it to five so that it prints, it shows the print pretty frequently, and uh, uh, so that the debugging part becomes easy. The main point of focus is this portion. Okay, so this is the integer which we want to pass from here to this task. That's the target of this field. Right, so I could have created an integer, just randomly gave it a num uh, scientific value that is 4 double 5. Coming towards this part, so if we go towards the manual of uh, the R task and we talk about the create task, uh, task create uh, function of the R task, where is the one that we, sorry, here is the one we are interested in, right? So if we talk about its documentation, so here it is. It says, let's talk about the example. So if we want to pass integer, what it does it, integer type can be passed into a task function by casting the integer to a void pointer. What we have to do, we have to cast it to a void pointer. This is what I have, this is what they mean by casting an integer to a void pointer. So this is passing the address of integer and then this is basically casting it to a void type point. This is the way to do that. So basically in C++ casting is being done by writing the type you want to cast in into a square bracket and then writing the values you are you want to cast from. Right? So writing void star means casting to a void point. Okay. So this is the first part of it. So the integer to the void pointer at the point of the task is created. That's exactly what we done. Then, by casting the void pointer parameter back to the integer in the task function. Now, let's focus on the second part of this. Let's come here. This is the void pointer in which we are getting the value of integer. Now we have to cast it back to integer. So I created an integer type pointer, right? And make it equal to this point. Now, writing this, printing this is going to print the value that was passed into this parameter. And you may use it somewhere else in your, your code. Okay. The lower part, the lower line is just simply a delay of one So, so we create a pointer of integer type and make it equal to the no pointer of void type. And then we choose that integer point. That is what they mean by casting the void pointer back to integer. Let's run the store. I hit the upload button and my board is already connected to the computer. Just ignore these warnings. But I mean it's not related to the code, it's related to the development function and of the system. I have pressed the boot button so that it enters the development mode and the board starts the load once it completes the compilation. Yeah, so here it is uploading. Now it's uploaded. Let's go to create more detail. We click the reboot button, and here we are printing the value that we are passing to the task. That is it for this video. In the next video, we are going to learn how to pass an integer array.